what is up? This is your boy Alert Wolf here to uh, bring you my review of Platoon Episode 6. This one's called Night of Sacrifice. And uh, it begins with the Komodo Dragons uh, from the last episode are attacking them. Uh, they go right out of uh, Teira and, uh, and um, Sakamoto and, and uh, Himiko. And basically, uh, they, they try to run away, they try to cross the river. <coughs> Sakamoto goes back for the bombs, hits one of the dragons with a rock. Uh, while, and, while Terra tries to get uh, Himiko to safety because she's, she's passed out. Um, but he throws a bomb and he finds out something interesting and something we did not know about this show, which is unless you kill somebody, stealing their bombs won't work because they don't become like unlocked unless that person dies. So he threw a bomb and it didn't work. And he had to find he threw a sec he had to find the he had to find his own bombs and it took him a while. In that time, uh Tara got bitten and we all know what happens. A Komodo dragon bites you, you you're pretty much dead. I mean, uh, I don't know what's going to happen to him, but uh, it can it can kill you. The the, the diseases, the, the bacteria in, that, in their mouths are very deadly. Very deadly. Most people don't survive. And uh, so they end up running. Uh, you know, Kira does, I mean Kira. Sakamoto does uh, get a bomb off. Uh, saves Tara, Tara and the rest of them and they end up uh, going up river he's holding uh, Sakamoto's carrying Himiko who's knocked out and uh, Tara has uh, the, has all the food and the bombs and they end up getting separated and uh, because of the, the uh, Komodo dragons and uh Sakamoto thinks that Terra left him. And he he he's about to die basically because he doesn't have his own bombs on him. Uh, and uh, you know one of the monsters is about to get him when just then a flying uh, bomb comes in, targets the creature and hits him directly in the head, killing him. And we get the new a new type of bomb, which is the homing bomb it takes you take a picture of your target and it flies like a little helicopter and homes in but would but it, it's not a big explosive just enough to kill your target it's a sniper shot which is awesome so we get a new bomb they escape towards the ocean they find this like fort almost a fortress the not a fortress but like a fort uh, and they're trying to escape they're still being chased by the monsters because they have the food and uh, Taylor tries to hold them off. Uh, Taylor also explains, you know, how, because Sakamoto brings it up, hey, I'm sorry you had to use your bombs. Are you sure about this? He goes, that's before I trusted you. I trust you now. So t they try to go up the ladder the, and carry her up there, but that doesn't work. The ladder ends up breaking, one, and they fall down. And Taylor's like, listen, you get her up the ladder. There's only one of the steps broke. He goes, you get her up the ladder, I'll hold them off. So she, he uses one of his homing bombs, it kills one, and Sakamoto's cracking up. He can't carry her up there. He's going crazy. He's like, am I supposed to become this monster to leave her? And then he even, you know, he cries, and, you know, because he, he's cracking up under the pressure. He slightly goes insane for a second, then he figures something out. He goes to the top, and it looks like Tara's like, oh, man, I, I'm losing faith in you, buddy. What are you doing? So it looked like he, he was saving himself, but he threw a gra gas grenade at the creatures, which is one of hers, but he, he used her hand to hit the button and blew up, thus killing the Komodo dragons. And then she woke up after it was all said and done. They all go up, you know, they all go up to the top of the, of the thing and, uh, you know, they're trying to take care of uh, Terra. They, Sakamoto realizes that there may have been more than one game because some of the explosions and the bombs and the blood have been there for a while. Uh, 
she is very much still freaked out by her ordeal, still very traumatized. Uh, you know, and she she doesn't like Sakamoto that well, but they still haven't figured out who each other was. At this point, um, Tara is starting to become very sick from his bite. He's in a lot of pain. He's in fever. And they they, they, uh, they, they try to help him out. Uh, it's funny because she... She, uh, she she suspects Sakamoto of, like, peeing up her dress when she was coming down the stairs. And he's like, I wasn't looking. She goes, oh, did you do anything too funny to me while I was knocked out? And he's like, no. But he blushed because he remembered looking up her, her skirt. And so she's, like, hentai and, you know, all that. And she she hates him. And she's so, she's so mad. So he, he, goes, he goes, don't jump to any conclusions. And he grabs her on the shoulder. And she has a flashback of almost getting raped. And she's like, don't touch me. He's, he's like, I'm so sorry. Uh, so they get water for him. They try to treat the wounds. Uh, they, they put alcohol on him. And uh, it, they're, trying to, they're trying to keep Tara still alive. And what happens is... Uh, he's like, you have to hold him down while I put this alcohol, because he, like, kicked him in the face before. She goes, I can't do it, I can't trust any man, I can't touch any man, you know, she's still very traumatized. He's like, this isn't time for this. This guy got hurt because he was saving your ass. Like, get over it. And so she does, and she helps out, and they, they manage to disinfect the wound as best they can. Uh, we also get a flash from that fat guy who's in charge of the game. And he, he comes in with, like, some food. He's like, oh, man, just get some food. What's going on? Anything interesting in the game? And he's like, how's Sakamoto doing? And Sakamoto is building up a team. He's interacted with four players, but he's only killed one of them. He goes, oh, that sounds like him. He, he should be very interesting. Get plenty of data on him. And when you look at the guy talking, his eyes are all bugged out like he's a fucking zombie. You know, I, I mean, just... It's crazy. Like, maybe these guys aren't even, you know, maybe they're aliens or something. Something's not right. I'm just kidding about the aliens thing. But, you, you know, something ain't right. And, uh... And then, uh, Sakamoto asks her, Hey, what's your name? You know, she's on her phone. She She's on the Walkman part of, you know, she had her earphones on. And he goes, Hey... You know, I, I've been meaning to say if we're gonna we're gonna be around together, what's your name? You know, have you told me your name? And she's like, I'm not gonna tell you your name. I don't. I'm not gonna partner with you. I don't trust any man. And stop trying to look at me, hentai. And she like, tr she like fucking sweep legs him, and he falls down. And he's like, Hey, is that a? Ca are you into? Are you into uh, cosplay? Is that a character? And he's like, Is that a video game avatar? And then she she doesn't want to talk to him. He goes, Listen, you gotta answer my questions. <coughs> and the questions is basically how did you get you know now that we know you can't just steal somebody else's shit how did you get all that stuff all that food and junk did you kill and she goes only because I would have been and, you know she's saying she would have been raped and he's like well I need to, the answers to these questions and before I can trust you and uh, and, and at ease by you and then just then they get pinged bing and uh they all stand still, and he's like, did anybody get pinged on that? And she's like, I did. She goes, I should just go, you know, the, or else the killing is start again. He goes, Sakamoto goes, no, I'll divert his attention. You just stay here. She's like, what? And he, and he goes. He goes, but when I come back, we're still going to talk about this. And... <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh... So, he goes off into the woods to distract and that's the end of the episode uh but there is of course an extra scene although last week there wasn't this week there was and then the extra scene he's running around the woods trying to ping the guy and lower the person stalking them into uh false sense of security and uh basically what happens is uh he gets tracked. He tries to do a move and double back on him. And the guy, he when he hit, he pings it the last time, he realized the guy's behind him with a knife. And it's the Rambo dude who's been chasing her to get his bombs back ever since. <coughs> and so, uh... And so that's where it ends. Like, he's in trouble. He's, he's fighting this soldier guy. And, uh... 
the next episode uh, we get is going to be called uh, Virtual Bride, so maybe he finally figures it out. And it looks like this guy basically houses them. And and you see maybe the, 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 the lawyer guy is with them. And so I think they take over the fort and they tie her up. She's tied up and you see Sakamoto standing over her in the preview. So this preview looks pretty good. I think finally they're going to figure out who, who they are to each other. Uh, and... Uh, so I, I am looking forward to that episode. Uh, this episode is was about a three and a half, maybe a four. You know, maybe three and a half. Yeah, not quite as good as last week. We got a lot of drama, though, with the the freaking uh, Komodo dragons chasing them, the Gila monsters, you know what I'm saying? The Komodo dragons w was a big thing. You got to see a lot of trust issues and the relationship develop further between Terra or Terra and uh, Sakamoto, uh, you got to see a little bit more of Himiko's personality now that she's been, uh, at the second half of the episode, now that she's been, you know, uh, traumatized. And and basically, we, we get to see, we get to see a lot more of Terra's character, who he was, why he feels he deserves it, you know, or, or this is his karma. And... We know from the injury he's going to die soon. So, I'm not sure how he's going to die, but I don't see him being alive in the next few episodes. Like, he's going to die either the next episode or the episode after that. His, his death has been assured by the bite. So, he may die in some sort of climactic way. And judging by how he's been acting at, towards the end of this episode, he may just do something... Uh, in a self-sacrificing manner, maybe be the decoy, because he's he's starting to pull his own weight. I really like Tara as a character. I like him as a support character. I'm gonna sorry to see him go when he goes. But that being said, uh, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go three and a half uh, out of five. We got good action. Good. We got some story. It was very uh, uh, it was a lot of drama. It was very tense. You know, the drama was good. So uh, this is Lord Wolf saying uh. Click it up if you like it. Uh, <coughs> comment if you... Uh, subscribe if you can. Comment if you must. And this is Alert Wolf signing out.